Good morning from Austin, Texas. Well, yesterday I uh, read John 16. And this is really interesting because uh, Christ is, you know, being empathetic with the disciples. He's, you know, telling them, you know, you're, you know, I feel for you, you know, you're, you're, you're going to be grieving. Um, you know, it's going to be really hard on you. All right until it's not and then you're going to be joyful and then he's going to it's my time to go back to my to my father and uh, from which I came and then the disciples were like oh now you're speaking plain to us I understand we get it and he's like really you understand me <laughs> he didn't I don't speak in parables and and uh, and so it, it's it and it just really made me think um you know, Roy Jones Sr. used to he, talk in parables all the time to us, all, all the time. And then after a while, you know, he could be uh, much more direct. You know, we got it, right? But, uh, maybe years and years after he taught me something where I'm training my son, I'm going, now I understand. And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about done with this phone call. 20 years later, now you figured out what I told you and <laughs> you're calling me to tell me. But people are like that. But what's really interesting is uh, I started thinking about Revelations. Now, when John wrote Revelations, it was a lot of um, subconscious programming coming back from the prophets, Daniel, Ezekiel, Isaiah. Okay, And so a lot of the imagery that's in Revelations he is just a carryover from the Old Testament and the prophets, right? And he's talking about Persia and um, Mesopotamia and, and uh, you know, Syria and uh, Judah and, and in Israel. And Judah in, is in Israel. They're, this, they're it's the same place. Okay, I just saw something recently that they're getting upset the Pope was upset because the Jews moved into Judah. Yeah, who cares what the Pope thinks, All right? Um, it's Judah and Israel are the same country, back to the Old Testament. Okay, so, um, but when you look, there's some craziness going on in the world. And I met with some people last night from Nigeria, which is an oil producing country. And I explained to them, you know, that China's pushing the electric cars, which is going to affect all the, it's going to affect Iran, it's going to affect uh, Russia, it's going to affect Saudi Arabia and all the oil producing countries in the United States, um, Venezuela, all them. I mean, just imagine all the oil producing countries unifying. Wouldn't that be something? And, uh, but, you know, it's, you know, China's got to do what it's got to do because they don't produce oil. And, and, uh, but by make them going electric, which their energy still has to be produced somewhere, right? And most cost effective so far as coal or um, natural gas to, to drive these electric cars. But that's going to, the manufacturing of internal combustion engines and oil and gas are going to affect all those countries. Included. So it's the shifting, and, you, and you'll see it, the shifting of powers and, and uh, mergers and all that kind of stuff. And it puts it all into a whole different perspective. Craziness. Um, but it's clear. It's very clear. And what is uh, the unifying factor is love, okay? And you know, I could imagine. Could you imagine what if what if China became a Christian nation, all right? And they got all that influence everywhere, and and shifted it from the selfish. Um, I don't know. It's the. Uh, the domineering communist mindset to a Christian mindset. Just imagine that. It just happened to be the Emperor of China 
came to know Christ and really know him and read the Bible and understood what it what it's about. Okay. The Old Testament is all about dropping your offenses. All right, and seeking that relationship with God. All right. And with Christ it's you know really knowing him and the Father. And and with that there's there's that love and that grace. All right. So that is for Saturday. Have a good day.